Hey guys, it's Trevor Daly. Hey, I wanted to share another quick Lightroom tip with you all. Uh, this one today has to do with using colors in your photos. And what I mean by that is how to actually manipulate those colors in Lightroom, whether you want to add more or less or take away from. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring you over into Lightroom and I just picked out six photos from a recent wedding. We're going to first go over to this uh, HSL color and black and white menu. HSL stands for huge saturation luminance. Now, you can, if you click on that, you can be in this menu bar. I can talk about this one later in a future video and where and how I use it, especially this little button right over here. It's kind of a secret little tip there. But today we're gonna to go back to this one under color. Now under color, you can see I have hue, saturation, and luminance for each of my color spectrums. Now where I use this is when I'm shooting jewelry, for example, a lot of times I will get uh, different yellows and oranges that are reflecting around the room from whether it be the ambient light or whatever. and what I want to do is I don't necessarily want to get all the colors. I, might, I don't mind a little bit of color reflecting in the diamond, but I don't want that overwhelming orange. Now, of course, some people might say, well, Trevor, you could go up and adjust your color white balance, which I could. But what happens is sometimes you'll get lights and things reflecting off that diamond. So what I really want to do is I'm going to come over here to my color menu, and I'm going to actually just take my yellows, and I'm going to pull the saturation down. Now, you'll see when I do that, I still maintain some of the blues and other colors that are reflecting in the diamond but I got rid of that overwhelming yellow that was reflecting or that room light that was reflecting back in it. So that's one of the tips I love using. Now, let's go take another photo. This one was shot in the hotel room as well, and you're gonna see we have this overwhelming yellow that's kinda of just overtaking this photo. Same thing, guys, I can take this yellow saturation, pull that down, and immediately I just got rid of all that ugly yellow in the room, and I'm able to show off those white curtains. So just a quick little tip there. Now. Let's take that same idea. Let's open up a photo that we have a little bit of sky. We have the couple getting down here getting married. And let's just say I want to really saturate or I even want to darken those blues. Well, instead of going into exposure and trying to pull those blues down or maybe creating a radio filter or you know doing something like that, what I can do is I can just come over to my color menu. I can go down to my blues and I can do one of two things. I can bring the luminance down, which is basically the, how light they are. So there you can see automatically I'm starting to pull back those blues. Now I don't want it to look fake, of course, but um, let's just bring that back. By the way, if you want to just zero those out, just click on the name. Or I could even bring the saturation up. So I can kind of bring those saturation. Or I could do a combination of both. Now if I really want to get crazy, I could even change the color of this guy. You can see, now again, there would be no purpose in doing that, but you can see the power in these little color sliders. So let me just zero those out again. By the way, another quick little tip is if I just if I have these all kind of wacky, and if I just want to zero them out, if I hold down the uh, Option key or Control key on the PC, I can then get where it says Reset. So again, let's just pick something that looks kind of decent. There we go. With the color slider, in a mere seconds, I just changed that. Now here's another example. And this one, what I want to do is let's just say I want those greens to really pop. You can kind of see that right now they have kind of a yellow tone to them. And right now it's real popular, this kind of film look that has those kind of minty greens. Well guys, it's really easy to do. Uh, I just come right over to Hues in the green slider. And if I just click that over just a little bit, you can see immediately my greens went from kind of this yellow into more of a real, a real nice, dark, saturated green. Same thing, I can bring down the saturation, I can bring up the saturation, I can even change the luminance. So I can make it darker greens, which of course we want to go too much, but, or I can go lighter greens. So you can see the power of those sliders. Let's just do it one more time here. Same thing, I'm gonna hit those minty greens, and then maybe I'll just bring up the saturation a little bit, and I'll bring up the luminance a little bit. And lastly, let's just do it one more time. This one, you can really see we got those yellows. We got, we got those you know real bright yellows in those greens. Let's just take those greens over a little bit. Let's actually take my yellows, change that hue just a tiny bit, okay? And maybe we wanna desaturate those yellows just a little bit as well. So again, you can see the power of these sliders. Now what I like to do is instead of taking every photo and going in here and adjusting the sliders, I'll typically come up with a look that I like and just save that as a preset. And when you save it as a preset, you can say, I just want my color sliders to be checked and that way you can always go back and it will, you know, as you hit that preset, it will apply those color sliders to each photo. So imagine for a minute, you have one slider or one preset that says, hey, you know, for my blue skies and it will change your blues so that your, you know, your hues are up, your saturations are up, your luminance is down a little bit. Your greens, let's say you want that, those real saturated greens. So there's plenty of, of different opportunities here, guys. As I mentioned before, I use it a lot in jewelry to desaturate those yellows, and I also use it when I want to make sure those greens have that real nice toned green color. So hopefully this tip was useful. I know I use it a lot. Hopefully you can as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.